Kevin Spacey says he needs to get his house in order. In a lengthy interview streamed Tuesday on Piers Morgan's YouTube show, the embattled actor tearfully revealed that he is many millions of dollars in debt due to legal fees racked up defending himself against allegations of sexual misconduct, which has left him uncertain of where he's going to live. This week, where I had been living in Baltimore is being foreclosed on, a downcast Spacey said. My house is being sold at auction, so I have to go back to Baltimore and put all my things in storage. So, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to live now. Spacey, 64, said he had settled in Baltimore in 2012 when he began shooting House of Cards there. But now, he explained, I can't pay the bills that I owe. Spacey said there have been times he thought he would have to file for bankruptcy, but he's managed to dodge it, at least as of today. When Morgan asked him pointedly how much money he has, Spacey replied, none. He added, I still owe a lot of legal bills that I have not been able to pay, with the amounts in the millions. Spacey has been accused of sexual misconduct by more than a dozen men since 2017. He was found not guilty in a 2023 case in London in which four men said he sexually assaulted them between 2001 and 2013, and he was found not liable in a 2022 civil lawsuit brought by actor Anthony Rapp, who accused Spacey of molesting him in 1986 when he was 14 and Spacey was 26. Spacey is currently involved in another civil trial in the UK in which he's accused of sexually assaulting a man in 2008. He has denied the allegations. Earlier in his interview with Morgan, Spacey said he realized, looking back, that he had been too handsy, touching someone sexually in a way that I didn't know at the time they didn't want. But he said his touches were not gropes. At one point, Morgan said that the way Spacey had been banished from Hollywood was too much, which Spacey responded to with the story of Dalton Trumbo, the late screenwriter who wrote under pseudonyms after he was blacklisted in Hollywood in the 40s and 50s, Spacey recounted, how star Kirk Douglas insisted that Trumbo's real name be put on the script for the 1960 classic Spartacus. Morgan then asked if Spacey was waiting for someone to do that for him. I don't believe and never will that the world doesn't have more Kirk Douglases, Spacey said. Last month, a number of high-profile actors, including Sharon Stone, Liam Neeson, F. Murray Abraham, and Stephen Fry, defended Spacey in statements to the UK's The Telegraph.